this is a picture of William Sidney Porter. Now, William Sidney Porter was mostly a writer, but he was also an accountant and a businessman. And he got himself in a little bit of trouble um, embezzling money. So he ended up in prison. He actually was in the old Ohio pen that was in Columbus, Ohio, and uh, spent some time in there. Well, while he was in there, he did some writing. But he didn't really want to use his name because he had been a like a prisoner and stuff. So he came up with a pen name. Uh, no pun intended, like he was in the pen. No, that's not what it means. It's like pen, P-E-N, um, like um, writing pen. And so he came up with a pen name and his name was O. Henry. So anytime you read a book by O. Henry, you know it's going to have a twisted ending. Now, when we read The Hitchhiker, that had a twisted ending too, but it wasn't an ironic ending. Irony is just the opposite of what you would think. For instance, um, when um, President Reagan, when they made it, when um, an assassination attempt was made against him, the bullet actually didn't hit him directly. It wasn't from the the shot, but what happened was he was in a bulletproof limousine. Now, a bulletproof limousine is meant to protect the president by if somebody would shoot at the limousine, the um, the bullet would bounce off. Well, what happened was the bullet bounced off the limousine and hit him in the chest and almost killed him. So do you see the irony of that? The limousine that was made specifically to protect the president actually almost killed him. That is irony. Um, other examples, if you've ever read or seen like the Disney version or whatever of The Gift of the Magi, that was written by O. Henry. And in that, um, two young, um, a young love, a young married couple um, were very, very poor. And so they decided to um, give each other a sacrificial gift. So she has beautiful long hair. So she actually sells her hair um, because he has this gold watch that was a family gift, but he doesn't have a watch chain. So she sells her hair to... Um, buy him a watch chain and he sells his watch to buy her these beautiful combs for her hair. So that was the type of ironic story that O. Henry is known for. So in The Ransom of Red Chief, this is one of my favorite stories. It's really funny. Um, you're going to find that um, a kidnapper doesn't really get what he wants. So I hope you enjoy The Ransom of Red Chief.